In this video, we're going to continue working with solving linear equations by solving what are called two-step equations. In equations that have several steps, we will keep in mind the order of operations. However, just like when adding, we subtract, and when multiplying, we divide, doing opposites to solve equations, when solving, we will do the order of operations in reverse. which means we start at the beginning of... at the end of the list with the addition and subtraction. First, we will add and subtract. Then, after adding and subtracting, we will multiply and divide. These two steps can be used to solve many types of equations. Let's take a look at some examples where we do just that. Again, just like all of our equations, we will balance through the equal sign. Our goal is to get the x alone, which means we need to get rid of all the other stuff. To do that, we will focus on the negative 7, which is multiplied by x, and the positive 5, which is added to the x. We know to do order of operations in reverse, we must start with the adding and subtracting. So let's focus on the 5. To get rid of the 5, it's a positive 5, we need to subtract 5. Just as always, if we subtract 5 from the left, we must subtract 5 from the right. Now, our 5 subtract out to 0, and all that remains on the left side is negative 7x equals 21. Remember that because there's nothing between the negative 7 and the x, that implies the operation is multiplication. So to get the x alone, we must do the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing out the negative 7. Doing the same thing to the other side, and notice our negative 7's divide out. We're left with x equals 21 divided by negative 7 is negative 3. Notice, negative 3 is the number that we could plug in for x to make this equation true. Negative 7 times negative 3 would be ne would be positive 21. 5 more is 26. Let's try another example. In this problem, the variable's on the other side. But we will still follow the same pattern, trying to get the x alone. First, by adding and subtracting. Notice we have a negative 2. The opposite of a negative 2 is a positive 2. And if we add 2 on the right side, we also must add 2 to the left side. Notice the 2's subtract out to 0, and all that remains on the right side is the 4x. On the left side, 14 plus 2 is 16. Now, to get the x alone, right now we have 4 times x, the opposite of multiplying, is dividing. To get rid of the 4 and leave x alone, we divide out the 4, on both sides. The 4's divide out, and we're left with x equals 16 fourths, or 4. Again, we notice that 4 is the number that makes this equation work. If we replace the x with 4, we have 4 times 4, which is 16. Minus 2 gives us the 14. As we solve these two-step linear equations, they will all solve with the same pattern. First, we add and subtract, then we multiply and divide to get our x alone. 